Borodar and welcome to the InstaSim channel. Now today I am playing Train Simulator 2016. It's been a while since I've had Train Simulator and it's been a while since it's actually been released because it's been released for years and I actually wanted to be making videos of the game since a while. However I haven't really come around to do it because I haven't had much time to actually record them and I thought now would be a pretty good time to start and today I'm going to be on the London to Bedford route because I thought it might be a good start off to the series. Now this will be a series that I will be doing a lot of Train Simulator videos as well and I have a lot of routes that I would like to do which I know are quite old and they've been released for a very long time but I've only just started doing them and I really want to do a lot of routes which I've wanted to do for a while. Now I know a lot of other YouTubers they use sound packs from Amazon Powerhouse or from other places. Unfortunately at the current time I have absolutely no sound packs whatsoever of other trains so these are going to be the bulk standard DCG sounds which usually kind of sound a little bit bad I know but that's just the sacrifice that I have to make for now so as without further ado let's just start so we need to open the door and allow passengers to board before the party now there was another one which was this one you are currently at St Pancras time Thames Link Station the driver and the driver of 2v40 Sutton Surrey to St Albans. Once passengers have departed the train at St Albans, pull into St Albans centre siding where the train will later form the 1314 service to Sutton Surrey. And then we need to open the doors to allow passengers to board. So let's open the doors. Which is done by T. Now I don't have any sound packs, so sorry if this lags a little bit, I am recording on my laptop which can handle the game but not at very good qu graphics quality and it does tend to lag a little bit. There are a few other things I want to talk about during this uh, uh, video as well. Oh look, another train just came in. Now we are driving the First Class Connect Class 319 uh, Unit V76 to St Albans which is pretty cool so we uh, I do know a lot about trains by the way I do quite enjoy trains a lot so without further ado then let's take off the brake let's put us into gear let's reset the AWS and I'm only going to, I'm going to be using either the keyboard with A and D or I'll just be using the mouse because I'm just lazy as hell and I don't have any other equipment to use anyway but I am going to have this open maybe I'll just have it like this no not like that not like that either no where is it like that and use the keyboard I think that might be the preferred way so then I can see what I'm doing and see where I need to go and everything like that now there are a few other things I want to talk about oh we're moving oh I don't know what the brake is there it is. Go. Stop. Right. Sorry about that. Good start to the video, eh? <laughs> now, I'm not going to be using a face cam either, so let's, without further ado, let's depart. I need to go 30 mile an hour. You know what, I'll just use the keyboard, but for the brake, because I don't actually know what the keyboard shortcuts are, I am just going to have to use the mouse. But there we go. Now there are a few things I want to talk about during this video as well, so I will talk about them later on. So we are now departing and we need to go to Kentish Town Platform 2. Now, as I've said, I do know quite a lot about trains. I do quite like trains a lot. Uh, I'm a huge train enthusiast, especially Steam and Heritage, because they're just better. Personally, I find them better than Mainline. Ooh, I'm speeding! Damn it! A good start to the series I'm speeding already. I should concentrate. Anyway, uh, I thought I, I wanted to do train simulator videos for a while but I didn't get to it because I didn't really have the time to do it. Now as well as that I would like to just say a quick shout out to the people who have inspired me to make videos although it's probably not going to help them much anyway because I don't know how many subscribers or views anyway at all. But I would just like to give a quick shout out to Qwerty Afro and PTG Rail. Qwerty Afro, he does videos of simulators, 
he does do Train Simulator, which is really cool, and I do watch his videos as well, I'm also subscribed to his channel, and you guys could, should go check out his videos, they're much better than mine, <laughs> by far, like quality-wise and everything, and uh, they're just really good and really fun to watch as well. He also streams every Friday, I believe he restarted that schedule quite recently, about a few weeks ago. But he streams on his Twitch channel, I will link all those in the- I will link to his channel, to his Twitch channel in the description. He's also made a video of this route as well, I have watched it, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think I have, and uh, I don't think it was the same scenario, but uh, he has made a video of it. Now, PCG Rail, however, does a slightly different approach. He does more of a route learning video where he actually scripts out his videos and actually talks about how to drive the train on the route. And I'm speeding again. <laughs> I obviously haven't taken his route learning videos very seriously, have I? Well, I actually do watch his route learning videos. Quite fun to watch. They're quite long as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, they're really awesome. And you should also go check out his channel. I will also link his channel down in the description for anyone who wants to go and have a look. They are really good videos. Please that anything less. Shut up. <laughs> we are getting to a stop anyway, so. But you should watch their videos, they're really good, and they do train simulator videos, which is really awesome as well. And uh, you should go check them out. Now, all the links will be down in the description. Twitch for both of them. Why is that there? No! What have I done? I, I've i pressed something. I don't know what I pressed. F6, that's it. F6 gets rid of it. Right. Personally, I prefer Koji Afro's videos to PTG Rail because it's more of entertainment than teaching, but I still enjoy PTG Rail and his videos are really good as well. But Koji Afro also does OMSI and I want to do OMSI as well, again inspired by Koji, mainly inspired by Koji. Quite unlike my Ratchet Clank videos are mainly inspired by Teal, Game Master. But uh, the main inspiration for Train I can't really decide who out of the two I, uh, is the main inspiration, so I'm just going to say both are the main inspirations for Train Simulator, because they're really good videos and you should go watch them. Now, enough about talking about other channels and stuff, um, let's talk about this video. So I am now at Kentish Town Platform 2. Now, I have not been on this route in real life. I don't live anywhere near it. I live in Wales, not in London. So, uh, and I haven't really been on this route at all. So, I have never actually been to London either, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh. But hey, so, this is an electric multiple unit, so usually you you either have a diesel multiple unit, an electrical multiple unit, or just a diesel or electric train, and a steam train. So those are the types of locomotives you can get. There are probably other things like magnets, which have a maglev, but because those aren't really in the UK, I don't really talk about them. But uh, you have electric, you also have AC and DC power. I can't remember which one is which. I believe the overhead cable is direct current. No, they are altered. They're probably no wait. Hmm. The overhead, I believe, are the AC, the alternating current, because they have two wires and they connect to each other like that. And then the DC are the ones, the third rail. I can't remember which one outputs the most amount of power. I could look that up and tell you guys the next train simulator video, but I cannot remember that which one actually outputs the most. If someone could probably tell me in the comments, that would be great. I think one outputs 30 kilowatts, the other like 50 or something like that. I can't remember, but it's something like that, I believe. <laughs> I'm not really into electric trains as much as I am into other trains, because for starters, there are no electric trains in Wales. Just, that's, that's just general, there are no electricity, because we don't have these ugly pylons everywhere on our railways. We have more diesel and steam trains. I personally prefer steam trains. I would drive steam trains on my videos as well, which would be amazing and awesome. Except that steam trains obviously use a 
no processing power and stuff because of the steam physics which are really poor in this game which I would, I would love it if they would improve the steam physics but I don't know if they can do that in this engine that they're using I don't know which uh, engine they are using AWS has gone off again oh we need to slow down because it's yellow I've learned this from PTG Rail and it's a double yellow that means the next oh it's green though okay. but double yellow essentially means the next one is going to be a single yellow and then the next one's going to be red that's how I've learned it by PTG Rail so if I am wrong or whatever then you guys can blame PTG Rail because he's the one who taught me that yeah that's that's how it'll work but essentially yeah his videos are great now enough about talking about other channels so let's talk about this video now <clears throat> oh yeah in eternal you can't actually change the camera But you can press pause, and I've just sort of shown you guys that right now without anticipating to do it. But yeah, you can press pause. Now, I should probably go faster, because it's a 75 mile an hour speed limit. And I'm going 43 and a half, or now I'm going like 47. Which is kind of stupid, because otherwise I could get crashed by another train that's going 75 mile an hour. Oh, this is a two-tone horn. I like. I do like the two-tone horns. Wow, so th so many things enthusiasm me so much about this game. I do quite like this game actually. I mean, yes, there are some improvements it can make, but to be honest, it's it's, it's a pretty good game. I would recommend you guys go and pick it up. It's on Steam. I think it's some like thirty quid or twenty nine ninety nine or something like that. Maybe more expensive than that. I don't know. When I got it, it was twenty nine ninety nine. I mean, I updated from Train Simulator to 2015, and I had to pay for it, so... It's twenty nine ninety nine, I believe. Or was it on sale? I can't remember. <laughs> We're going into West Hampstead Tensley. <coughs> now, which is here. Platform 2. Now as well, I am not going to be doing face cams on my train simulators. I might do them on stream, but when I can stream that is. But I won't be doing them in the videos for the reason that I just can't be bothered to and I'm just too lazy to set it up. Well, it's easy to set up. It's extremely easy to set up. I just can't be bothered to. But it's... Also, there's really no space for me to put a webcam overlay on here. Because you guys want to be seeing the scenery and everything. You don't mind face. Is kind of sad. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let's pick up some passengers. Oh, and uh, lady, a green dress just pops out of nowhere. Right. I'm gonna follow you. I do like to do this. I like to just kind of follow the passengers. Although their moving moving physics are kind of bad, it's just fun to see them walk away and just disappear off into the sunset. Time to just penalty. Oh well. Now I know on normal main lines they don't actually toot their horns before they go but I like to do that because it's just that much fun you see it's just fun to sort of toot your horn as you're leaving the station because that's what you're supposed to do isn't it really I mean if they actually still did that it would be amazing but they don't which is kind of sad but there we go they've stopped doing that trend for since they started main lines so but I still do it anyway, because it's just fun to do. Oh, and I'm getting lag. Well, this is probably the first lag spike you're getting on the video. But there we go. Also, the quality is probably not going to be as good as some YouTubers who do Train Simulator. But hey, that's just how I roll. I can't really get the best quality out because I don't have the best equipment to record with. However, I am trying to improve on that. Slowly but surely. Let's just say that. Slowly but surely, I am. Improve, trying to improve my uh, equipment a little bit. 
I am talking quite a lot in this video, and it's kind of probably annoying for you guys, but I like to do it. It's fun. We need to actually stop at Cricklewood, so I should probably slow down. Now, what I do find in this game is I tend to like to slow down quite early. I always tend to slow down very early before my stop, and I usually go into uh, emergency brake mode. And that does take down a little bit of your points, so no point in actually doing that. Now, there's another train here, so we will hoot, to, hoot our horns and wave at the driver in the train so that we can say hello. It is nice to see you. This is nice to see you today, driving on the Midland Main Line. Our fellow drivers. And is lagging a lot because he's passing a train. Who knew that a second train would actually take up so much processing power? Is it moving? I'm not going to stop in time. Emergency brake. Oh, and we've gone past our stop. <laughs> Oh well. It doesn't matter, we, ha we have two carriages in the station, let's just open our doors on those two carriages. <laughs> you see, I'm not very good at driving trains, although I did, I kind of do want to drive trains in real life, but I'm not very good in simulators, so. Who's to say I'm going to be good in real life at driving trains, eh? Oh, there's a car stop over here, actually. I kind of stopped over there. So, it's actually... The last carriage is in the four-car stop, so... At least we've got one... Well... Half a carriage in this in stop, eh? Oh, I got time to expose now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes! I do, I do like to do that, it's quite fun. So... Off we go. And so I do like to go into free roam mode as well, just kind of follow the train rather than being stuck in the cab all the time. It's just more fun that way. Alright, we've actually passed the eight car stop. Hmm, it's on. Eh, well. Oh, 90 mile an hour. We can go 90 mile an hour now. Of course, we have to wait for the last car to actually go past the. I have to wait for the last carriage to go past the uh, speed limit, because that's how it works on the railways. I never knew that until quite a few months ago, I suppose, but there we go. I always thought they could just speed up on the actual speed limit, but we, they apparently cannot. And again, I'm not 100% sure on how an actual train driver can do that, although there's always a way to learn it, isn't it? It's always somewhere to learn about it, I suppose. Now this video is not going very well, because I don't know what to say. And my commentary is probably sounding a little bit boring and repetitive, but it is the first train simulator video that I'm doing, and I'm not sure what to do. So if you guys could just give me some comments on how I can improve my commentary, that would be amazing. Let's do that. It'll be just amazing if you guys could just tell me how I can improve the commentary. Now the quality of the actual video probably cannot be improved that much, that much because again, I've got hardware constraints and I am trying to improve, however improvements are expensive as hell. So I am trying to work up the money to get some more, some better equipment. But that's just what I'm trying to do, to try and improve my quality, the quality of my videos on YouTube. Because I know the quality is not the best, and I know that I do a lot of console and PS2 stuff, which is the best quality, but... This is a PC game now, so we're going into PC mode. So, we're taking a quick break from PS2, plus my PS2 is not even here right now, it's downstairs. But... When I get an Elgato, I will be doing PS3 stuff as well, so... Oh, and our stops come out, which I forgot about completely.
probably going to miss it again. Oh, and we have. What what a coincidence. I, th oh, I, I kind of knew we were going to miss it then. What's it going to tell us to do? Going to make it reverse? Task failed. Ensure you check your task list and complete each required item. Oh, right. So I just need to kind of go then. Whoops! <laughs> I've never actually missed a stop before, so I didn't know what it was going to do. But hey, at least I know now that it's actually going to remove a bunch of points from me. But at least I don't have to reverse. But hey. Wait, the task list. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I failed that one, but it doesn't matter. I've got 10 tasks to do. St. Albans is 12 miles away. That's not very far at all. That's five miles away. <laughs> That's a road. I thought that was like some sort of magical train or something to just sort of like be there so long and just. It does kind of look like a train from five, if you think about it. The speed that is. Ooh, well. I would have had the emergency brake on me then, and that wouldn't have been good at all. Now we're going uphill, which is pretty cool, I suppose. Is it? I don't know. Can someone tell me, please, in the comments? <laughs> you see, it kind of looks like a train, that thing there. I probably pointed it when I'm editing, but because you guys can't see the mouse, because I disabled that. The reason is that I just don't want you guys to see the mouse, because it's going to be just obstructing views and stuff. So you guys get to see everything around everywhere without having to have the mouse obscuring your vision. Because I am a nice person and I like to give my viewers awesome content without having to have the mouse in the way. <laughs> right, this time I'm going to slow down just in time so that I can actually stop at Mill Hill Broadway Platform 2 at the exact spot I'm supposed to be. Because I want to do that. So that I actually have one stop where I actually don't fail miserably. Honking my horn at the nearby bus. Yes, that's it. Wait, what? I can have a fan, which is actually eating up processing power. So I am not going to use the fan. <laughs> It's raining. In, re in real life, it's raining right now, so it's nothing better to do with cold. Right, it's not actually eating a person power here. Probably because I'm not that good. Anyway, I hope the actual content goes down well. I hope the audio quality and the video quality and everything is fine. It's I hope it's okay for the video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, if you if you do, if you guys do enjoy it, please let me know. And this time we have got into the station very slowly, and we are on time, which is awesome. And. We are actually going to be stopping in the station in the correct spot, which is over there. It's right there. You see by those uh, cameras there, just right there, right there. We are going to be stopping right there in the forecast stop because that's where we are designated to stop. Ah, how lovely! I have actually managed to stop in the correct spot for a change. Wait, open my doors. Well, it's just a little bit before a bit. It doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts. I'm before that area. I'm supposed to be over here, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm on the platform, at least. Now, as well as, like, these videos, I'm also going to be doing some quick drive stuff. I might do random quick drive like QWERTY Afro does, but I'm not sure about that yet, Probably either have to ask him about it, 
or make it so that it's a little bit different so it doesn't seem as if I'm copying any, anything that's happening in the video but um, I will pro I will definitely be doing quick drive stuff like just testing different trains and different routes and stuff like that but I might I might do random quick drive scenarios but I'm not 100% sure on that one yet just Bear with me, I've just started out to doing train simulator videos. <laughs> also, this new schedule, I've been doing train simulator every Tuesday, so... I'll be uploading... If I upload train simulator from now onwards, anyway, I will be uploading them on Tuesdays, because it's a nice day for actually recording... Well, for uploading videos. I don't record on Tuesdays, because I'm in school. Hey look, a train! Let's honk our horns while we go, while it comes past. That is a very fast train. Yes, it is very fast. Oh well. Honk our horns and off we go. Is there a passenger view? <gasps> There's passenger view, yes. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear the actual train, but there we go. You probably can. I can't hear it very well because I turned the volume down, which I shouldn't have done, to be honest, because I actually wanted to hear it. But, uh, yeah. I'm sorry with the default sound, by the way. I don't have any Amstrom Powerhouse stuff yet. I don't know if they have one for the Class C19, I think they do. But I'm not sure. They probably do have one. But I just haven't looked, and I'm. Probably not going to be able to buy them right as of right now because I don't really have anything to spend. Well, I do have some to spend on stuff, but that's for other things as well. Ah, oh, hashtag we are elephants. That is just amazing, awesome. And then engine driver. Of course, they changed that to trainsimulator.com. Oh, and also in the news: the Welsh route is coming to Train Simulator, based in Wales. Cardiff to Bristol. And it's going to come with a class 175. They run across Wales as well, which is really, really awesome. And I do quite enjoy that they're actually coming to Wales for a change, and I hope they will actually start doing stuff North Wales, because I live in North Wales to start off with, and secondly, there's a lot of amazing things they could do in North Wales. Like, they could even start doing narrow gauge stuff. I mean, it's not really that difficult. If they could do Maglev, they can obviously do narrow gauge, because narrow gauge is a narrower track and stand gauge, really. I do hope they actually do get into narrow gauge soon because there's a lot of potential they can do with narrow gauge. Oh, we get you to be honest. <laughs> I'm unsure what the actual signal is that's coming up. I think it's green, yeah, I think it's that green one there. Now, also with these videos, I'm not really going to cut things out, so... It's kind of like what Court and PTG Real do. They don't really cut things out unless it's really need to, but... Uh, they don't... But I'm not going to cut things out of these videos. I don't usually cut things out of videos anyway, to be honest, because I'm just lazy as hell. But I will start doing that, obviously, because it's obviously the prime part of editing. But there we go. Um... But I'm, I'm not really going to be cutting things out of the train simulator stuff because I personally don't find a need if I'm going to just do this, this simple route for about half an hour to three quarters of an hour or whatever. To be honest, I don't actually know how big the file is going to be either. So hopefully I've recorded everything properly and it should be as good quality as I can do. But I'm not. Sure about that. I will look into it, people. I will look into it. Don't judge me. Also, these videos are not going to be 60 FPS like my usual videos are. In fact, I'm actually going to stop doing 60 frames per second video one day and just do 1080p instead. For example, oh, I didn't. <laughs> I don't want the emergency brake, I don't want the to flipping... Uh, I just wanted full service. At least I've got to stop in the right spot, I hope. Ah, 
I've actually stopped at the platform with the full with the emergency brake. Have all the have all of them actually gone on come onto the platform? No, that one isn't. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Now, as well with these videos, I might do my own scenarios of, of with some things as well. For example, I am currently doing my own scenarios on the Isle of Wight Railway, on the Isle of Wight Line. I will be doing my own scenarios on that and maybe actually do a video. Well, I will probably be doing a video of them as well. Because they, they look kind of fun. Also, the Isle of Wight is a really good route and I do enjoy that route as well. It's probably the only route on this that, for me, that doesn't lag. <laughs> but I will probably be doing the route, the scenarios that I have done. I'm also probably going to do my own routes, but that's going to be kind of difficult because I don't know the route building tool very well. But hey, I will be doing my own scenarios definitely because it's a lot easier than doing a route. But I will see what I can do with that as well. With Quick Drive, I'll be doing that as well, and with other things as well. Do stuff. Also, I will be doing obviously two videos, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it on my current setup because it does lag quite a lot on obviously two. However, I'm not sure on that. I might only do obviously two on stream, then upload the videos of that on the Sunday, or maybe upload it on the Saturday or something when I after the stream. I'm not sure what I'll be doing exactly yet, but I will be actually doing another schedule announcement update. A schedule update quite soon. Hoping that this video actually gets uploaded on time. Which is actually this Tuesday, the 22nd of February. Hopefully, it'll be uploaded by then. If it isn't, then God help us. And if it is uploaded on the 22nd of February, then you could probably expect a schedule announcement update by either the weekend or by the 1st of March. Definitely by the 1st of March. Because on the 1st of March there's going to be another train simulator video, I hope. Or maybe a train fever video. I don't know. I'm not a huge pro at train fever at the moment, so I need to kind of uh, get better at train fever before I can actually do that. We're coming up to Radlet. Please sound that I am rolling my R's very well because I am Welsh and that is how I speak. You can probably hear it often in Ireland and in Scotland as well because they do the same. They don't do it in England. God help us why. God knows why. And that's not me trying to be nationalist or anything, that's just stating the truth because they don't really roll their R's much at all. At least most of them do. Don't really. Don't think. Some probably can, and some probably do, but some, but most of them probably don't. I'm not sure. I'm not really into English culture that much because I'm not English. I'm Welsh. Why should I look into English culture? I'm Welsh, not English. I don't need. Really I don't really follow English culture much at all, to be honest. And that's primarily the reason why I want more Welsh roots in Train Simulator anyways, because I... Well, I have a passion for Wales in the first place, which is... Uh, there's a lot of Welsh opportunities that they can do in quite well in Tracy Wizard. For example, Bristol to Cardiff. They could probably do that quite well, I hope. If they get all the sounds correct, and if they get all the stations and everything correct, they could probably do that quite well. Of course, I'm not an expert at South Wales, but I live in the north, not in the south. So... Can I get in the forecast stop this time? Oh, am I at the forecast stop? 
I've just gone past it. Oh, look, it's a burger. McDonald's are doing an advert again. Yeah. Is it McDonald's? Oh, no, I don't know anything. Is it McDonald's advert, I wonder? The treble, 99p. <laughs> oh, God, what is... It's class 45. That's pretty cool, that is. That is actually pretty cool. Of course, the train itself in Train Simulator, it kind of sounds really awful, but still... Pretty good train. I don't quite like the detail on it. It's got pretty good detail. And then got that, which is an advert for a McDonald's Big Mac for 99p. And off we go. After tooting our horns, let's off. Let's off. That just sounds so demonically horrible. <laughs> Let's just leave the station, that's just what I meant. I didn't mean anything else, so don't actually go nastily in the comments saying, Oh, he's trying to tell us something, but no, I'm not trying to tell you anything of that sort. Please don't be demonic and think that I am trying to get awful things to happen to people. I'm not. I'm not that type of person. Please trust me on that. I never really found a point to this up camera here, except for maybe seeing it in the middle of the track. It's actually quite interesting. That's actually... I don't know what the word is. I forgot what the word is. But to actually see that it's completely centered, it's just so amazing. This is the reason. Then you have the danger overhead line wires there, but that's kind of obvious because we're on a we're under an AC train, aren't we? There's obviously going to be overhead live wires. I wonder if we can actually get to 9, 90 mile an hour. Because our next stop is St. Albans, that's 3 miles away, so we probably can. But I doubt it, because we're, we're not really at 70, I think. Oh, the joys of being on a railway. You can actually go to 90 mile an hour without actually breaking the speed lock, because we're not allowed to do that. The UK, we have a strict speed limit of 70 mile an hour max on any road. Well, not on any road, obviously. But on, like, for new carriageways and motorways, our speed limit is 70. And that's as much as we can go. Even though some cars can go up to 200 mile an hour, which I can barely believe. Uh, but there we go. I was we're restricted to 70 mile an hour. But then again, they're pretty much restricted to 70 mile an hour in the rest of the Europe as well. The, the rest of the Europe? Whoa. Rest of Europe. I meant not the rest of the Europe. We're at 83 mile an hour already. I've been babbling on about random things. And we're at 85 mile an hour. That is quite impressive. We might actually get to 90 mile an hour in two miles. Really, we're going. We have to go down to eighty now. Ah, oh. have to get down to eighty. Ugh. Oh, come on, go, go to ninety. Go to ninety. There we go. That's good. Ninety mile now. We actually got to ninety. We actually got to ninety point one, which is the max speed limit on this railway. So on this line, so that. Now we need to go down to eighty. Now we'll slow down very early. Because I don't want to actually miss it, I don't want to go speeding and actually get a speeding ticket. In fact, I'll start slowing down for that 65 mile level as well. I don't need to slow down for 15 mile now because we stopped in the state anyway. So. Yes, I know that's 80. A Morbus board. I can't remember the reason for them being called Morbeth Board, but I think it's something to do with like a bend at Morbeth or something. It's like really tight and it's got like a really tight speed restriction, so they call them Morbeth Board. I just call them warning signs because it's a lot easier. It's much easier to depict to actually um, to give the reason of them being called warning signs because they warn you of 80 mile an hour speed limit. 
I can't remember the exact distance between the actual Morbeth board and the actual speed limit. I think it's somewhere like half a mile. I don't know. The last, so let's say if it's half a mile, then the 65 speed limit is 0.2, 0.1 miles away from the actual station. 0.15. So if it is 0.15, then it's half a mile. And the reason why is because at 0.65 miles we had the Morbeth board for 65 miles an hour. So, 65 miles an hour is at 0.15, then about half a mile away from the actual Morbeth board. I think it is half a mile, to be honest. It is exactly half a mile away. <laughs> or at least about half a mile away, because I didn't know when actually when the actual Morbeth board came up. We have a red light over there, so... But we need to stop anyway. Where's the forecast stop? It's right there. Have we stopped the right place? Yeah, it's close enough. At least we're on the platform. Now we need to go into St. Albans siding. I don't know where that is. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's right there. So we need to go here. And that's the end of that scenario, then. Which is amazing. To say that we've actually managed to finish it in about qu three quarters of an hour. And I think the actual thing said it's three quarters of an hour as well, so that's pretty cool. And it's probably, it's also the first Train Simulator video and we've actually completed it successfully with a few minor accidents of missing stations, but there we go. We actually did fine. You will need to request permission to pass the signal ahead. I believe that is tab. Spam, to request to pass signal at danger approved. That is good. So we can go. Stop. Uh, let's go. We also need to vote at 50 mile an hour because We need to go 50 miles an hour because that's the speed limit ahead. Hey, we're at exactly 15 miles an hour, 15.0 exactly. Hooray! <laughs> right, I am going to go right up to the buffers because that's what train drivers like to do at the last at the terminal stations. So I am going to do that because it's just how I want to. But I'm going to go quite close, I'm not going to go right up to it, otherwise I'll just derail and fail the mission immediately. Oh well. We have done quite well to reach the end of this scenario, so we are here. And it's only 1 o'clock, so that's pretty good. I mean, we've done it in 3 quarters of an hour, so in a single video... Okay, the videos of Train Simulator are obviously going to be a bit longer than usual. Some might range to about an hour, but I'm glad we've actually managed to... I've actually managed to record a video of Train Simulator, although I'll buy to be a bit of... Task failed, and show you check your task list and complete each required item. Oh yeah, it's probably because I missed the stop. Anyway, let's have a look at here. So my the name of the scenario was leaving so soon. And that was on a career scenario. So I scored zero. How did I score zero? Oh, you gotta be kidding. I should have been... Ah. It's because I missed the stop, wasn't it? I should have gone back and picked up those passengers, but hey. If I did that, I would have been late, so... Anyway, 
So we got the timeliness on time on the first one, and then we had a few minor stupidity stuff happen, but there we go. I mean, it's not too much of a problem. I mean, we did okay, to be honest. But we didn't get anything for it, so it was kind of stupid. But that was my first train simulator video for you guys, and I do hope you guys enjoyed it. So. But the mission I did was Korea Zero, and it was that one. I might just do it again in a video, but not in the next video, definitely not, because I've only just done it in one video now. However, I don't know if I'll do it again in another video, but just to get the points or something, but there we go. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Train Simulator 2016. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a lot, and you'll get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. All those links are down in the description, so you guys don't have to go very far to actually look for them. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye.